Jai Ho! My dear children, this is your physical instructor and I welcome you all for today's class. I hope you all are fit and fine at home and taking care of your health and your studies too. Now, let us see, start the class. And today's class, the topic is we and our environment. So, we and our environment. Men. So, in we and our environment, what are we going to study? So, we are going to study about vectors. So, vector born diseases. So, what is vector? And what are the disease that gets spread? So, let us see what is vectors. So, my dear children, vectors are the organism that spreads the disease in the host. So, children, what are vectors? So, vectors is a mosquitoes. Vectors are mosquitoes. And who are the host? Human beings. We are the host. Now, this vectors. Where these vectors are coming and how they spread the disease. So, there are some, now as you can see, it is raining everywhere. And there are some stagnant water present. It may be near, near our house. It may be near market or any places around us. So in that water, the stagnant water, germs are present. And that germs is collected by mosquitoes. So the mosquitoes sit on that and they collect all the germs in them. And what they do? They bite human beings you might have seen evening time or early in the morning time sometimes some mosquitoes will be there they will be biting us so what they do they are not biting the germs what is present in them they insect in a human body and they throw that germs in us and the germs which enter in our body because of the mosquito bite we get malaria, we fall sick, we get illness, then we get dengue and many more diseases. So these mosquitoes, whatever germs is there, when they bite a human being, like we are the host, so they, they need a host, they need to take nutrition the mosquitoes need nutrition so to take that nutrition they throw the germs which they have collected from the stagnant water and they bite human beings that see we, we feel sometimes a mosquito bite is there some flies are coming so these are all the diseases spread by mosquito not only mosquito even from cockroaches and flies and in this process they are spreading the disease to us our people human being so it may be anyone so you just see wherever the stagnant water is there you will be finding some dirt, dirt particles uh, bad smell and mosquitoes sitting on that so when they bite us when they throw that germs in our human body, we fall sick, we get that different, different diseases. Why they bite us? Because from us, they get nutrition. Who will get nutrition? The mosquitoes will get nutrition. So my dear children, let us move ahead. Okay, what is the life cycle of, for example, mosquito? So, how their life cycle is? So, female mosquito, there are different, different stages. And in that stages, let us see one by one, what is the stage? As we, human being, we are directly born through our parent. And we grow. But in this process, in the life cycle of mosquitoes the stages are little different 
so a female mosquito then they lay eggs from eggs it is moving to larva from larva they come to pupa and from pupa adult so they become a mosquito it, it may be male mosquito or a female mosquito so this is the life cycle of the mosquito let us see once again what is the stages so first is mosquito female mosquito then they lay eggs then they are converted to larva from larva they are puma from puma a adult mosquito is there and then it is male or female so children this is what we have studied today in v and our environment ke what are vector borne diseases and what are what is the life cycle of this vector borne insect it is mosquito today we studied about the vector borne diseases and how the diseases are spread by flies and mosquito so let us meet in our next class for the next topic till that take care have a great day enjoy yourself jai hind